diving right into this week's reading, I chose number 11, um, which is entitled Developing Rationality Requires Work. Um, I believe this is one of the top three things that um, the MLA program has gifted me um, throughout my two years. Um, I expressed this to Dr. Cooper um, about a week and a half ago during our meeting that I wish we would have had part of this course during the beginning um, um, in the liberal arts course um, because it would have kind of helped me been at ease with critical thinking and writing. Um, if I would have been able to, to process this information over the last two years, I think I would have transitioned <laughs> a little bit better in this class. Not that it's been bad, it's just, um, you know, there's, um, I was just uncomfortable a lot of the times with with writing and how to approach things. And so I think if I would have had this information two years ago, um, I'd be better off now. Anyway, getting back to um, that rationality requires work. Um, I don't think this is a new concept to any of us. I just think that um, we feel like we don't have time in our day or in our lives to add new pieces. And so I think that's where um, we get, we just get ahead of ourselves. We want everything to happen right then, right now, and instead of realizing that it takes time to grow. Um, I've heard, um, I've watched and heard many of us talk about how we're, we're coaches, um, we play certain sports, we draw, we paint, and we all know that with that, the only way you can become better at that is by practicing. Yet, here we have this concept of becoming a critical thinker or becoming a rational thinker. And not all of us, but some of us think that that just happens on the fly. And so we just need to take a step back and look at how we're processing information about how we're going about things and realize that to become better, even at thinking, we're gonna need to, to stop and practice um, to become truly great at it. Um, the other thing that I, that I wanted to do was go back to chapter two. Um, and in chapter two, you know, it kind of gave us a preview to, to the end. Um, it talks about the different stages of, of thinking. And so, you know, we had to choose, you know, which type of thinker were you? Were you the unreflective thinker? Were you the challenge thinker? Were you the beginning thinker? And were you, I believe it's the practice thinker, the practicing thinker, you know? And so from the beginning, um, you know, the book has, has prompted us to take baby steps um, throughout our time in this course to, to become better thinkers. And so chapter two just really set the foundation for us. Um, but it, we have to look inside of ourselves to realize that we have to stop and slow down and, and take a look at, at our processes and, and realize, okay, I can do this. If I want to become a better thinker, then I'm going to have to practice. Um, so that's my thoughts for this week. Um, I thank you guys for listening to this. Take care.